Well, back here at home in a few hours, we'll be in the 80s once again. The thought of hitting the pool or the lake isn't so bad, but safety should also be top of mind. And the experts say as summer quickly approaches, now is the time to get your kids prepared. The snow is just starting to melt outside, but kids across the area, like Amy Webb's son Mason, are already taking a dip. Go for it, Mason. Mason uh, suffers from anxiety. Uh, so a lot of like new situations he's very uh, anxious about um, and struggles in some spots. And he's done really good. He's improved. He's swam the whole length of the pool, which is great. But it's not so much about fun or even just learning how to swim. It's about safety. Shannon Kinsler, aquatics director for YMCA of the North, says that's an important distinction. Learning how to be safe might include not being able to swim yet. So in our water safety lessons, we want to make sure that they understand how to be safe in and around water. Through a community partnership, second graders from the White Bear School District are bused to the YMCA. They learn safety around water skills, which is composed of three main skills, uh, jump, push, turn, and grab. They learn about submerging, so going underneath the water, making sure water doesn't go up their nose, how to have that breath control. Water safety in Minnesota can provide unique challenges. Kinsler says water tends to be gathering places for many Minnesotans, including many immigrant families. And a lot of times it's the older cousins watching the younger cousins or the older kids watching the younger kids, and yet they don't have their own swim skills that they know how to use. Also, remember that melting snow I mentioned at the beginning? In the land of 10,000 lakes, not to mention a number of rivers and streams, that comes with its own set of issues. The lakes are going to be high. The streams are going to be running fast. The water's higher, so it gets more branches and debris. And as it moves quickly, it's going to cause all sorts of problems. So yes, we do warn the kids. We make sure they understand what those effects could look like. So that's why what is happening here now, weeks before pool and lake season starts, is so crucial. And we have ponds and uh, rivers and lakes everywhere. And I think it's an important thing that every person should know the basics of swimming. It is so crucial, especially yeah. in a place where people love to swim. That's that's what it's all about here. So make sure you get them in now, get those yeah. lessons in now. So coming up tomorrow on Sunrise, we're diving deeper into some of the surprising numbers when it comes to drowning and race and the plans in place to help address that issue.